I have a new video for you guys because we need to talk about Brooke Shields' disturbing photo shoot. At only 10 years old, the owners of Playboys sought out young girls for their magazine. Unfortunately, Brooke was one of these young girls and the damage was unrepairable. This, on top of her inappropriate role in the movie Pretty Baby, must have done a number on her psyche. So let's get into it. This is definitely one of the most disturbing stories I've ever shared on my channel before. So I want to give you guys a trigger warning before we get into anything because it involves a very young star who was taken advantage of and exploited as a 10 year old girl. So let's go ahead and talk about it because the owner of Playboy for some reason decided to hire Brooke at 10 years old for a very inappropriate photo shoot. The photos were taken by a man named Gary Gross, and it was back in 1974. The photos never ended up in Playboy, but they ended up in their sister magazine called Sugar and Spice, which was oriented towards a younger section of women and girls for, I guess, men to purchase these magazines and look at images of, which is so incredibly sick. In Brooke's photo shoot, she was wearing heavy makeup and nothing else. At the time, she was just a little girl with her bare body splashed across the pages of a glossy magazine. At 10 years old, Brooke wasn't a big star or anything, and she had no idea the implications of these photos. This article wrote, The sad truth is, at only 10 years old, Brooke had no way of knowing or understanding what those photos meant or how they would affect the rest of her life. I want to give you guys a second trigger warning because I am going to show you guys a few of those photos from that photo shoot. They have been censored, but I double censored them because they were only a little bit censored and I felt icky with just even that. So here are a couple of the photos of Brooke as a 10 year old girl wearing a lot of makeup and you cannot deny that these photos are inappropriate. Okay, I just wanted to like show you guys those and kind of just move past them because I just feel gross that they're still kind of out there and just circulating the world. Actually, we'll talk about how some of these images have been auctioned off before. But if you guys don't know who Brooke Shields is, she is an icon. She is one of the most famous American actresses and she's currently 56 years old. But as you guys know, she has been in the game for a long time. Behind every superstar, there's someone behind them helping them move along their way. And in this case, it was her mother. Meet Terry Shields. She was also an actress, but never as famous as her daughter. And Terry was an extreme momager. I mean, she was determined to make her baby famous, which kind of like irks me a little bit. I just hate how they like rip away a child from their childhood and force them to work. But really early on in Brooke's life, Terry had a plan for her. Actually, Terry stated that she wanted Brooke to go into show business just five days after she was born in 1965, saying that she's the most beautiful child and I'm going to help her with her career. And that she did, and she did anything she could to make her baby a star, and even went to that disgusting photographer, Gary Gross, who we will be talking about. Actually, one of the quotes from their later on court case, because her mother will go on to sue for these photos, Gary told the court that Terry is trying to be maternally protective, but exploitive at the same time, and you cannot be both. It is so foul to me how some of these parents will take their children, exploit them in Hollywood so they could cash in on their career. It makes me think about Jeanette McCurdy and how she lived a very miserable childhood because her mother forced her to work. But anyways, I want to talk to you guys about that creepy photographer. His name was Gary Gross, and honestly, the last name was perfect for the guy. I read a few excerpts about this man and his career, and from what I read, he seems like a really gro <laughs> gross guy. I mean, his name is Gary Gross, but he's absolutely disgusting. He's actually the one who had the idea for Brooke's photo shoot, claiming that he wanted to do an artsy piece about the woman within the child to capture the flirtatiousness he observed in little girls. So right off the bat, this man is wrong. I mean, he's already looking at young girls and seeing them as flirtatious, and trying to show the woman within, that sounds like you're trying to take a little child and make them into an adult when they're not ready. 
But of course, Brooke's mom, Terry, was down for the ride because she had long dreamed of her daughter becoming a star. So Brooke was hired for the photo shoot. Gary had the idea and he was the photographer and this whole Playboy production put it together. Mr. Gary Gross was supposedly paid $450 to take photos of Brooke. Like I mentioned earlier, they ended up going in one of Playboy's publications, Sugar and Spice, which was a more toned down version of Playboy with younger women and minors like Brooke Shields, who should have never been put in that position. This was actually the magazine that her photo shoot was featured in. She wasn't on the cover, but there were several other young girls featured throughout the magazine. So having a full blown photo shoot of a child wearing nothing is already very controversial. But then Brooke had a bunch of really heavy makeup on, which made it seem like she wasn't really 10 years old, still so gross, but the mother was all about it. Actually, the photo shoot was supposedly inspired by Terry's dreams of her daughter's fame. Brooke then ended up with heavy eye makeup, lipstick, and covered in oil. The 10-year-old was then directed to pose, standing and sitting in a bathtub, with two images showing Brooke's full frontal completely exposed. I just don't understand who would have been the consumer for this content. Like, can we please talk about the people who would buy this magazine, Sugar and Spice? The publication ended up using three photos of Brooke in their magazine. There were two big pages of photos with her, and then two pages dedicated to one image of her split across the pages. But Brooke wasn't the only one who was featured in this magazine because other little girls were also photographed. The issue she appeared in reportedly also contained three other pages of photos of nymphants defined as attractively mature young girls. Here is your foul fact of the day because I had no idea this was a word, let alone a thing. A, a nymphant? I don't even know if I'm gonna have to block this word out. I don't know if it's a bad word, like what am I saying here? But I looked it up and that's exactly what it is. Young girls who look like they're older than they are, but are still very young. I'd love to know the true intentions of taking these young girls and photographing them for this magazine. I actually don't know the ages of the other women who were featured in that magazine, but I know that Sugar and Spice tried to sell it off as an artsier version of Playboy. It was marketed in a way to make it seem like it was more artistic than its counterpart, Playboy. But actually, it was no better, maybe even worse, because it included children like Brooke Shields. And these photos haunt her forever. But people like Gary Gross, they're proud of their work. Gary was quoted in an interview in 2009 saying the photo has been infamous from the day I took it and I intended it to be. He also added that the images weren't supposed to be inappropriate, it was supposed to be mature. But I, I just don't buy it. People were talking about Brooke and this magazine, and as she became more and more famous, people were questioning what was going on. Actually, there was a magazine that came out in 1977, so two years after that photo shoot, and it says, Meet Terry and Brooke Shields. Brooke is 12. She poses, you know, without clothes on. Terry is her mother. She thinks it's swell. So that's such a bizarre headline there to write, oh yeah, this 12 year old, she poses without wearing any clothing. And yeah, her mother is totally cool with it. She thinks it's swell. But at the time the photos were published, Brooke was just a little girl. But then two years later, she starred in her first feature film and those photos started getting more popularity. You guys probably know what I'm about to talk about because she was featured in a film in 1978 titled Pretty Baby. And it's an extremely, extremely inappropriate film about a young girl, Brooke, who is a woman who sells her body for money and stuff. I can't say the P word on here, but she would like sell her body to men. From what I've read, I, I don't want to see the film. It was also very controversial. I mean, look at the poster. You can see Brooke Shields sitting there on a bench with a doll. And the poster reads, in 1917, in the red light district of New Orleans, they called her Pretty Baby. The image of an adult world through a child's eyes. Sounds a lot like that Gary Gross guy, how he said that he wanted to, you know, show the woman within the children. It's like trying to take Brooke and make her an adult and make her do things adults do that children should never be doing. And that's why the film was so controversial. There was actually one scene where Brooke had no clothes on and she was hooking up 
with a much older man in the film. Which, again, she's like, what, 12 years old? Imagine what she was thinking. Well, actually, a little bit before that film was released, Terry was trying to get rid of those photos from back when she was 10 years old because she knew they were going to haunt Brooke. Less than one year after the photo shoot, Brooke's mother, Terry, took Gary Gross to court to sue him for $1 million in damages over the images. Terry argued the photos could seriously harm her daughter's career and that Gary shouldn't have been allowed to continue to profit from the images. The problem with that one, Terry, is that you signed all of the rights to the images away. In 1975, Terry signed over all of the rights to Gary Gross, which means that he can profit off the images for as long as he'd like. I don't know what was going on back in the 1970s, but the courts actually sided with Gary Gross. Judge Edward Greenfield said the photos were not inappropriate except to those with a disgusting mind. The judge also called out Brooke's mom, Terry, for allowing her daughter to go and star in films like Pretty Baby, but at the same time, you're trying to sue over these photos. So how would these photos do irreparable harm if you're putting her in films where she's getting stripped down anyways? I truly feel like Terry Brooks took her daughter Brooke and just made her live the life that she always wanted without ever considering her feelings. This article wrote that Terry was living through her child and trying to engender an image of Brooke that was inappropriate and exciting while attempting to preserve her innocence. You can't have it both ways, but because of these lawsuits, the public were speaking about the images, and honestly, Gary Gross was able to gain fame just off of that controversy. He was quoted saying that he saw no issue with the photographs. It doesn't breach any CP laws here because the judge said so. In order for it to be considered CP, she would have to be doing something in a way that she's not. An appellate court later overturned the decision, but in 1983, the original verdict from the 1981 lawsuit was upheld. But like your mom and dad used to tell you before you started getting on the computers and the phones, everything you put on the internet will last forever, and so did these images. As her fame grew and she became the adult actress that we all know and love, these images kept resurfacing. An artist named Richard Prince actually used one of these photos from that photo shoot when she was 10 years old in their transformative artwork. The piece was entitled Spiritual America and it was set to be displayed in 2009 in London, but there was a problem because authorities thought that this photo of this young 10-year-old girl could violate London's obscenity laws, so the artwork was removed. I don't believe that there are uncensored versions of the photos out there. Honestly, I didn't even try digging, so I don't even want to. I think that's so disgusting and foul. And I feel like if Terry Brooks wanted to remove those photos, she should have been able to. I mean, yeah, it was her child, and yeah, she gave him the rights in the beginning. But keep in mind that we're talking about a 10-year-old who has the rest of her career, and again, these are going to haunt and resurface over and over again. This article claims the photos have remained under the radar, with only a few copies of the images reproduced online and most of them censored. Several uncensored copies were also auctioned in 2017 by Heritage Auctions. What the F? Like, what? why are they auctioning these off and who bought them? Like, I tried to even look up information about this and I could not find it, but it's so bizarre to me. Like, did they auction off the magazine or like just the images of Brooke Shields? Like, are people just collecting these images? I think it's so so gross. I am thankful that you guys sent me an email about this because I don't know how I never heard about this situation. And actually, it's been going viral recently because there has been this meme going around of Brooke with Hugh Hefner over her body and people are calling out Playboy for hiring a 10-year-old girl for a provocative photo shoot. Even though the magazine wasn't technically Playboy, it was produced by Playboy, so I am attributing it to them. You guys might be asking, what about Gary Gross? Like, what happened to that man? Because I'm kind of worried for other little girls. Well, he actually passed away in 2010 from cardiac arrest. So he is no longer exploiting children with his photography. As for Brooke Shields, it looks like she's just living her best life as a mother. Her daughter recently went to prom wearing one of her dresses from the 1998 Golden Globes, which is awesome. And I don't think that Brooke Shields is exploiting her daughter like her mother Terry has. Terry, her mother, Terry Shields, has passed away. I don't know exactly how I didn't look that up. 
but I believe that Brooke is probably a way better mother than Terry was because Terry had a motive to take her young daughter and force her to be a star. Whether she wanted money or fame or all of the above, you can tell that this woman had something wrong with her if she was going to give her little girl off to this man at 10 years old to photograph like that. And even like her mother supposedly inspired the photo shoot with the makeup and all. It's just all way too much. And an extremely disturbing story about how Hollywood continues to exploit children and nobody is safe. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I do have a P.O. Box package letter to open. I always say package, but this one's a letter and it looks like it's from Tristan in California. So let's go ahead and open it. I love when you guys send me letters and stuff. Ooh, okay. That was a clean cut, wasn't it? That was a clean cut. Okay, let's go ahead and see what Tristan... Oh my gosh, it was such a big task text. I was kind of scared. Okay. Oh, wait, what? Tristan's eighth grade graduation. Hi, my name is Tristan, and I'm graduating eighth grade on June 17th. I'm a big fan. I've been for a long time. Um, I know you obviously can't attend, but I'd love if you autographed a photo or a letter back. I totally understand if you're too busy to read this, let alone send a photo back. But it would mean a lot. Oh, I love that, Tristan. I will. Do you have a return? I guess it's just a return. So he just wants a photo with a signature on it. That is so cute. I will sit this on to the side, Tristan, and or she. I know I'm saying Tristan, he or she, it might be she actually. I'm sorry if I misgendered you. I don't think you can tell your gender from your name, which is totally cool. But Tristan, I will give you that photo. Um, maybe if you could email me like the address, unless this is the address here. Um, I would love to do that for you. Actually, I've seen one of my YouTuber friends, Adam McIntyre, like sell photos of himself with like write his signature on it or a little message, which I always thought that was really cute. But I'm also like... Who wants a picture of this face? Like, seriously. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much, Tristan, for your letter. And it looks like your graduation is about five, six days from now. So congrats on graduation. And I'll try to get that to you as soon as possible. Bye, guys. Bye.